we're facing an enormous challenge in Europe today. We're now seven years into one of the deepest financial crises in our history and things are not getting much better. We have seen failed economic policies, but worse, we have seen the impact of those policies on health. Unfortunately, for the political class, their focus has been on the economy, but with far too little attention to the health of the population. And within that population, migrants have been especially hard hit. Migrants and ethnic minorities are always vulnerable at times of economic downturn. They work in the most precarious of jobs, in the most dangerous of working conditions. They are often effectively invisible to the rest of us. And whenever the money gets tight, they are the ones who suffer most. But it's worse than that, because governments are cutting back on health, education and welfare services. And those are the services that vulnerable groups need most. The consequences are as we would expect. We are seeing a rise in particularly mental illness. People who are just clinging on are suffering severely. We are also seeing a rise in infectious disease because the services that are in place to keep infections in control are being broken down. What worries me particularly is that we are also seeing a rise in extremism among the majority population. Groups that are, the, that are seeing their living conditions stagnate or become worse, people who are uh, losing their jobs are looking around for somebody to blame. And the tragedy is that we have politicians who are willing to exploit their difficulties and the media that sometimes makes things worse. So right across Europe we are seeing the rise of po political parties whose sole platform is based on hostility to ethnic minorities and to migrants. For anyone who studied the history of Europe this is really remarkable. If we look back at the history of the 20th century we have seen where this took us before. It is amazing that we do not seem to be able to learn the lessons. But I want to go back to the economy because the policies that have been pursued are making things worse. We know that investing in the health and the education of all of the people, be they migrants or non-migrants, will be good for the economy. That's what the United States has done. It has invested with a financial stimulus and it is recovering. But Europe unfortunately seems, seems unable to learn the lessons of both history and from elsewhere. And until we do so, we will never get out of the situation that we are now in. We need to remember that it may be the migrants who are being attacked now, but ultimately the things that are being inflicted upon them will come to all of us in due course if we don't stand together.